Most people in America are not familiar with how to get a psychic or prophetic reading. What we know is that many churches across America have people with gifts of the Spirit. Gifts of the Spirit are talked about in Colossians and other chapters of the Bible. But the reality is the different books of the Bible do not always explain the level and capabilities of the prophetic person. A person who is fully submitting their life, their heart, their soul, their mind, and their bodies to the Lord usually have higher gifts than those who don't. You might notice with the famous people on television that several of them have their own religious stint or their own religious preference, yet they still have these gifts. Despite the fact that sometimes having gifts of the Spirit can be in conflict with some of the major principles of a particular faith. What we're talking about today, though, is how do I receive a reading? The first thing is only go when you're really willing to do so, because it's not my job to prove to you that there's a God. It isn't my job to prove to you that you need to understand the Lord God, a mother and father divine architect of our world. But it is my opportunity to share with you information that you will be blown away by because at some point you recognize in your heart or in your mind, in your soul, that there's no possible way that a stranger like me could know you at any rate or any day. You see, the value of submitting to the Lord is the gifts that the Lord bestows on me or on you to be a joy or a unit of fun or entertainment or edutainment, which means an educational entertainer, for people who are looking for the Lord. I just had the precious gift of one of my sweet high school friends who has met me a few times and comes to visit me on occasion from a city away to come and visit with two of her girlfriends. I was a little nervous on the fact that they are a little bit young and no parent was exactly present, but I recognized that they were consenting children, consenting teenagers who were looking for some concept of religion, and they each had a different background with spirituality or faith. One knew nothing and another had some basic grit. That didn't mean that they were a Sunday Christian, it didn't even mean they were a practicing one. But the reality was what I hoped to achieve for them was giving them some foundation of life. Faith is the foundation for life balance. You can't do that in a very short period of time, but I gave them sort of a 10 to 15 minute introduction to the concept of good and evil and faith and why it's important to stay within the light. Hopefully that sunk in. At the same time, I gave them each individual information to validate their life in a way that they could not believe. How could I possibly know who they were or what they're good at? And it's not like my little sweet friend who brought her girlfriends with gave me any information. I didn't even know they were coming, although God had spoken about her quite a lot today. And I was kind of pleasantly surprised to find her on her way and literally coming to me as I was making my supper. I'm grateful for the lady who gave me some water so that I could make my own dinner this evening, and I'm thankful for that, and I'll find a way to compliment her through the appropriate professional channels. But when it comes to having a reading, what I discovered by watching these girls' faces was how they began to light up for the Lord, meaning the girl who was not even aware of God started to really get excited about the fact that God truly knew her, because everything I articulated about what she was good at, what her skills were at, she just couldn't believe that I would know that. I said, hey, it's not me. It's the Lord acknowledging you and seeing you from his heavenly hosting place. And she really got that. And she became kind of a lighted little girl. She also had things on her heart and soul that we had to talk about. And the hard thing for them was that they did that reading in front of each other. Now, on television, you see that quite a lot because sometimes families have issues, especially if they're doing good grief type groups like you see a lot of times with Teresa Pursuto where she's helping them and counseling them with grief and transitions and life missings if you will that in truth she's really kind of a good therapist lay therapist I don't believe she has actually has a technical degree in social work but she doesn't have to she is a light into their world and she helps to prove it despite the fact she might begin from a standardized process and a mentalist point away she always brings something out for them each time that validates who they are on any given day. I doubt it's like the Steve Martin film Leaf of Faith, which is a marvelous way to make people aware of the charlatans in the industry who are truly mentalists or magicians and other things. 
But at the same time, we have to acknowledge the fact that if you really want a true reading, your heart has to be open, your mind has to be supple, and your spirit has to be willing to receive information from God. Because that information has to be just right at the right time in your life, at the right moment of your life, to make a difference. My prayer is that these girls will remember this experience with their girlfriend who brought them here as a positive, fun, unique, and different experience. I also was able to impress upon the children that God really knew them. And regardless of their dedication or their denomination to a living, breathing Lord, that Jesus in heaven, or whatever they chose to call their God, really understands them and understands them well. So I guess to summarize the value of this conversation is to remind people that if you want the gifts of the Lord, if you want a prophetic word, if you want to be validated for who you are, the best way is to a stranger, someone that you don't know at all. Now there is usually a cost for that type of a consultation service. It is considered entertainment by most states across the land, so you can see that someone's not going to prescribe for you any type of ridiculous medications or whatnot. But at the same time, my, that person might have the gifts of healing or the gifts of medical intuitiveness to let you know that, hey, this situation needs to be looked after or that situation needs to be really felt in a different way. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth. And when we speak the truth to people, they recognize and relish in the truth of the Lord. And that is the best testimony we can offer to a child who doesn't know anything about God at all. That the Lord really knows them, really sees them, really loves them, and really wants them to get excited about discovering their faith. And then the reminder that if you're stagnating in your faith, you have to change things up. You have to do things differently, and you have to be willing to hear from people who are more seasoned in some aspect of faith. It's also important to refer to young people good books and good YouTube channels of which they can learn about faith healthily and appropriately and age appropriately for their soul. Spirit Science is a great type of channel for young people to access and to create dialogues about for their own understanding and edification of the Lord, but also the many different concepts of God that exist around the globe. In life and in our moments of time with young people, the most important aspect is to make them feel healthy, whole, mature, and welcomed. Because when they feel that way, they really grasp God. When they feel judged or when they feel prematurely ejected from a space, they don't like that. But when kids have time and they can lend you that time, you'd be surprised what can happen on the Lord's dime. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth. And the truth of God comes through holy people, and the truth of God comes from ugly people, and the truth of God does come from people like me who submit all to the living Lord. In life, we have moments of time to speak our truth and share our truth of God or our understanding or knowledge of someone else to that individual directly so that they get validated in their soul, that they feel God's love, that they feel your individual support or caring, and that they feel that there is a significant spirit world that can help them and keep them safe in our world.